Hey Noah. Hey We're Noah, great. how you doing? How are you? I'm doing great. I have to say, it's a pleasure to meet you, Brian. I had Rachel on a couple of weeks ago with Travis. You know, they talked about Ghosted. Ghosted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you been watching Great Noah? show, great show. I have. It's really good. I think it's just beyond crazy that, you know, these those type of things happen. You're like, what? You yeah. know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait till yeah. you see tonight. If you can watch tonight, it's crazy. All right. I'll tweet you. I'll tweet you both and let you know how I like it. Yeah, tweet me, tweet me. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, so, you know, uh, The Bachelorette, uh, you know, your season, Rachel, is going to be uh, streaming for free. That's right, for free, people. You don't have to buy it for $2 or $3 to get to watch it. You can watch it for free on Tubi TV. But before we get into that, I want to uh, talk about, you know, because you two recently got married. So was it everything that you both expected it to be, and what will you remember the most from that special day? I think we're going to remember just getting our family and friends together and just having them come together over a span of you know several days and by the end when the actual reception took place everybody was just getting along so amazingly well and just uh -huh. celebrating our love yeah I'm definitely gonna remember being on the dance floor <laughs> like looking around I, I there, uh -huh. there's this moment where you know you're announced as a couple for the first time you know, to everybody, and you walk into your reception, and you know we had the the DJ Khaled playing, and it was almost as oh. if people were lined up, and we were slapping hands, <laughs> and we make it to this uh -huh. beautiful dance floor. The spotlight hits us, and then we dance to our first song, and just to be staring into Brian's eyes, and then looking around and seeing our family and friends, it was such a magical moment. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, like I told Rachel, I saw the photos, even though she said the photos don't do it justice from what I no. saw you know, in the People they magazine. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. It was a big party, Noah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about, you know, your season on The Bachelorette. So, Rachel, what was, like, one of the most craziest or wildest moments that played out on the show that you can fully remember? Because I'm, I'm sure there's a lot, but what's one that really stands out to you? Oh, yeah, this I can answer this one. There <laughs> were a lot, and none of those wild, crazy moments include Brian because with Brian and I it was oh, easy yeah, no yeah. drama yeah. but there was yeah, a moment he's awesome yes there was a moment where one of the guys had a girlfriend mm. while he was still on the show or right before the show and she felt I needed to know so she comes and confronts me and I don't want to mm -hmm. spoil it if you haven't seen it to see what happens but she does mm -hmm. come on to the show and um, the way that all goes down is definitely uh, worth watching you know, for millions watching you two on TV, and of course you both are still in the public eye today, do you think being part of the franchise of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette helps you both grow as a person? And if so, how? Uh, yeah, I would say being on The Bachelor, at least for me, I don't think I've ever been so in touch with my feelings uh, mm -hmm. as when I was on this show. You know, every waking moment that I was on the show, I ate, breathed, <laughs> slept, and thought about this woman. Um, you know, so whether it's talking to my guy friends about my feelings, which some guys are uncomfortable doing, or just expressing yeah. my feelings to her, I think just uh, uh, letting those feelings out as a man, I think it's, uh, you'd be surprised how much you do it on the show. Yeah, and I would say the same for me. It helped me. I had so many walls up when it came to expressing my feelings and just being vulnerable enough to let someone yeah. love me in that way. So I really mm -hmm. just, you know, threw away certain, I guess, the certain ways that I had been before, just maybe things that I had been taught to do, and I was just open, and I was yeah. like, listen, this is what I want, this is what I'm feeling, and I'm going to say it, and I wasn't able to do that before the show. Oh, you two are relationship goals. Hashtag relationship goals. <laughs> yeah. I love you two. You, you two really are such a, a, a cute couple, and a lot of people think it. And we have some questions from Bachelor Nation. That's okay. right. I want to ask a couple of All right, so Carol and Sabrina, they wanted to know what makes your relationship work. So, um, Rachel, I'll let you uh, answer that one and tell us what do you 
think, you know, makes your relationship work with Brian. Yeah, I, we would probably say the same thing. It's truly communication, having that open line of communication. And from the beginning, from watching our yeah. season, things that made him uncomfortable, we talked about it. We had those hard conversations. And even now, we tra I travel so much, and so we're apart and mm -hmm. more than we would like to be. So we really try to keep things spicy, really talk to one another. Yeah. So we're never in yeah. a place of wondering. I think that c creates a strong foundation. Jenny Shields wants to know, what's life been like for you both being away from the camera? So I guess when, you know, when you're not on camera, what's life like for you both? Uh, Brian, I'll let you answer this one. I think it's been great, life off camera. Obviously, once the camera stopped rolling after the show, we uh -huh. rolled back into normal life. And I think it, was, it just gave us a chance to really get to know each other, know all the, the quirks that we each have. And, you know, I think everything got better day after day. Yeah. And I think mm -hmm. we've surprised ourselves, even walking out of the limo, we surprised each other on the season. And every day since after filming, we've just surprised each other. And it all culminated with the marriage last month. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, well, the last one is from Teresa White. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> she wants to know, how many kids would you both like to have in the future? <laughs> oh, Rachel, I'll let you answer this one. <laughs> well, right, right? Um, I originally said four, which ideally that's what I would want, but um, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. So I think we're thinking like two, maybe two. Uh -huh. We want to start within the next year. Right now, we're just oh. supporting each other's careers, but sooner than later, like, yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, 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 look, Rachel's ready. Oh, Brian. Oh. I'm ready, too. I'm ready, too. Uh, do you both want to have twins or? In, uh, no or and no. Boy girl? No and no. I don't. No. I, will tell you, I will tell you right now. You don't want to get it out of the way? I don't no? want twins. <laughs> Brian yeah. does, though. That, like, that's uh, something we never really talked uh, about. Brian wants twins. I don't. I'm the one who has to have them. No. Yeah. If I can have a preference. Uh. <laughs> All right, well. I had such a pleasure getting to chat with you both. That was some questions there from Bachelor Nation. So yeah, so uh, be sure to catch Rachel's season of The Bachelorette. It's streaming, streaming now for free, people, for free. That's right, you don't have to buy it for free on Tubi TV. Thank you, Rachel and Brian, for joining me this morning. It was such a pleasure to speak with you both, and I will be watching Ghosted tonight, too. Yes. Thank you. Thank Always you great so to talk to you, Noah. Talk soon, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.